Why a chest rig? Now the gear that I use in Airsoft needs to fulfill a few purposes. One, it needs to serve the game that I'm playing and it needs to fulfill the needs of me as a player to carry all the gear that I need. And the gear needs to be as flexible as possible so I can use it in different configurations or I can bring it to different events. Now I choose a chest rig over a plate carrier because it's less bulky, it takes less room in my bag to take with me. It can take almost everything that a plate carrier can take, even a little bit more. And it will provide me with all the pouches and all the sling carrying thingies that I need to have in this layer. Now the chest rig falls into my second layer, that is my gear. Chest rig is 2A and the battle belt is 2B and I can use it in different configurations depending on the game that I'm playing. Sometimes I will only carry the 2A and other times I can only use the 2B. For example for the CQB game I can only wear my chest rig not my belt. If I'm walking around in a base during a bigger milsim I'm only wearing my belt not my chest rig and if I go to into the woods to have some fun and shoot some people I will usually use both the chest rig and the belt. And as you can see, I built my gear in different layers. This is the second layer. Uh, I have videos about different layers and more videos are coming up. And if you wanna go deeper into the levels, uh, I have different videos that will go over different pouches that I use in different levels. And the videos about the different layers and different pouches and everything else you can find in the description of this video. Now there are so many chest rig configurations out there that it's impossible for me to tell you what chest rig to buy. The only thing that I can do is show you what I use and if it fits your category or to your playstyle, you might consider checking out the chest rigs that I use or have been using in the past. Now I will go over all the chest rigs that I had and I used during the 15 years that I've been playing Airsoft and uh, you can see a small change in how I use my chest rigs and the setup of that chest rig. Now I started off with a simple black fixed pouch vest chest rig type of thingy everybody in the team had it it was one of the cheapest things to buy so that was an easy pick in my first load bearing equipment vest or what whatever that you want to call it it served the purpose i could carry magazines i could carry uh, some small stuff so that was perfectly for my needs and the black vest i didn't have any belt set up everything was in my vest and i had my pistol on the belt of my vest that's all that was carried on the belt itself. Now then I changed teams and I went to a Vietnam airsoft team so we went from a black vest to a Vietnam load bearing equipment style thingy and yes it's not a vest it is a belt that was used with suspenders but it's still in the second layer of my gear and yes you can use a chest rig during the Vietnam war like this was this is a modified somewhat the same chest rig that they used during the Vietnam war but my gear was a simple grunt outfit so we didn't use this that's why we used only the belt. Next up is the first proper chest rig that I ever bought and this is the Modeler chest rig. I have no idea what the name is. I think it's, there is a brand on it. I think it's a garter um, from Intruder Shop, but something something. Um, this is a second hand chest rig that I bought for not that much money. I think I paid 20 or 30 euros for it and then I had extra pouches for it. This is a modeler system, a modeler mole system where you can change the pouches depending on what rifle that you're using. So I had uh, M4 pouches in the front, I had a utility pouch on the left, more magazine pouches on the right and a radio pouch on the side and my admin pouch was here on top where my map and all my small little items were located. I didn't use a belt with this, I used a fanny pack together with this for uh, storing my GPS, my compass and some small other items. And this chest rig was the base of the modularity that I needed to create my gear for my purposes. The stuff that I had before was because the team had it or it was the right uh, time frame but this was the first setup that I was able to configure it to my needs. And this is something that I really advise if you're new to Airsoft and you want to find a chest rig that works for you, buy a cheap something modeler and try pouches and see what works for you, where you want your pouches. Do you want a lot in the front? Do you want more on the side? Do you don't, don't you want anything on the side? Do you want it all in the front? And with this configuration, you could just pow pouches and you can play around with it. It's the cheapest and easiest way to make a configuration that works for you. And after, I think almost eight years of playing with this cheap thingy. I played uh, big milsims with it. I went to Burgett with it. I did a lot of stuff with it, but it was time to upgrade because there were a few things that I didn't like about it because I didn't like this flap thingy. Yes, I could cut it off, but then uh, I would lose a lot of the stability of the chest rig um, so I could modify it. But instead I bought a new one with this setup in mind. So I played around with the whole setup. And then uh, after I had this one, I will put this aside, I bought that one. 
And I already made a video about that. That's the Warrior Soul System uh, Falcon Rig with uh, four ammo pouches in the front and two utility pouches on the right. And this is a fixed setup. And this is really important. If you buy a setup with fixed pouches, that you know that everything that you will need you will be able to store in your chest rig. With the modeler system, you can change it up if you don't like it. But with this, you need to be sure that this is what you need. It's a little bit more pricey. Um, so yeah, it's really important that you don't spend all your money on something that you will never use. So that's why, try this. If it works for you, buy something like this. And because this is a fixed pouch setup, it's a little bit more sturdy. The pouches are not wobbly. The downside is you can't change anything about it. Yes, you have a few more slots here, but there is an in-depth video about this chest rig on my channel and I will link it here above. Now I'm going over all the different type of chest rigs so you have an idea why I chose the chest rig that I'm using today. Later on in the video, I will tell you what is in my chest rig because that is I think the most important part of this video, but I want to give you the history of all the chest rigs that I used and why I made those decisions to come to those two chest rigs that I'm using today. So this is a chest rig for an M4 platform. Yes, you can put AK Max in it, but I don't really like it to have the AK Max in it. Maybe I'm going to find a system where I can use it with AK Max. But for now, this is my M4 chest rig and this is only used for M4 platforms and ICS provided me with an AK platform and that is why I had to change to something that fits AK Max properly and this is the setup that I'm using mostly now because of my AK setups. And this is basically the same thing as this. This is a fixed pouch setup but there is a little bit more flexibility on the sides because uh, Lisa added Mole for me. So I can switch out the side pouches to anything that I want. Now there's also a video about this chest rig online so if you want more information about how and why I did the setup of this chest rig just click the link in the description or here above. Now let's come to what I carry in my chest rig and I will use this one because I'm just coming back from Bergen and this is how I use it during uh, that 66 hour game. So everything that is in here right now was in my chest rig during the game. So I will go over it step by step. Now the basic things that I carry in all chest rigs are the same, except of the flexible one because I had some admin stuff in the flap here above. But the main thing is I carry magazines, so ammunition and communication systems. And on the side pouch, I use some admin stuff. Usually I carry my phone in it and some map or some tools to use on that map. And that is it. And because the chest rig changed, because I can carry three magazines in this one, I can carry eight in this one, that means that I will have to carry more magazines on my belt in my uh, AK setup and less magazines on my belt for my M4 setup. So in this setup, I have magazines. I'll just pull them out. Three magazines in this one, eight in this one. In my admin pouch, I have, as I said, I have my phone, I have a map, and I have a small booklet where I can write things down. And there should be something to write stuff with, but apparently I lost it during the game. And there are also some uh, cards, that in-game cards that we use for in-game purposes. So that is in my admin pouch. And then you got my communication system. That is my radio with an antenna. That's my uh, headset, my ZTAC headset with the special modification on it and my custom PDT. And that's it. That's everything that is in my chest rig. You might have noticed that my communication is on my right side. That's because I shoot my rifle with my left hand. So I keep my left side clear for uh, PTT and anything else. So it doesn't interfere when I aim my rifle. It's an easy summary of what is in my chest rig. It is ammunition or magazines, communication and map tools and my phone. That's it. That's all I have to have in my chest rig. And now you know how I set up my chest rig and I'm really curious on how you set up your chest rig. What do you carry on your chest and why do you carry it on your chest? Because I didn't find a lot more use of stuff that I have to carry on my chest rig, but maybe I'm forgetting something. So if you have any ideas or that you use that you think, oh yeah, you forgot that, just post it in the comments so I can look over it and maybe change my setup with those new IDs. So I hope I was able to give you some interesting information about my chest rig setup and hopefully it will help you in the future to build your own. And if you liked the video, don't forget to like the video. And if you want to support the channel and you want to keep up to date with everything that I do, don't forget to subscribe the channel. But that's it for today. There will be a new video upcoming uh, next Monday. So I hope I see you then for a new video. Bye. So this is the video about the belt. If you want to know more about the belt. And this is the video about the thing that YouTube chooses for you. If you want to know more about this, click on this. I have no idea what it is because it's especially for you, only for you. Belt, something for you, subscribe. Bye!